What's going on everyone? It's Chris from 416 Coffee and this is episode 45 of Coffee with Chris. Now in today's episode, I wanted to talk about something that drives me slightly crazy. And that is when people come in and they order a milk beverage, so lattes, cappuccinos, flat whites, and they ask for it extra hot. So the issue is that milk needs to be frothed at a very kind of precise te uh, temperature to get the texture and the flavors that we want out of it. So you're looking at 45 degrees Celsius to 65 degrees Celsius being kind of that Goldilocks window for making uh, delicious beverages uh, with milk. And that being beverages that have great mouthfeel, beverages that have great taste and even a great aroma where the milk is really complementing the coffee, bringing out interesting flavors and not masking any flavors. If you go under that, you have a milk beverage that's gonna look kinda um, flat, it's not really gonna have a lot of mouthfeel, it's gonna be too cool and it's gonna taste, the milk is gonna taste very much the same way it would if you were, if you were drinking milk straight from the fridge. And then the problem is if you go too hot, you start burning the milk and you get this awful like sulfurous kind of smell and the, the texture can get clumpy and if you really burn it, it can even have some like brown areas within the milk. So one thing that drives me nuts is when people come in and they ask for milk beverages extra hot and there's nothing wrong with wanting a hot coffee beverage but the issue is that if we froth the milk extra hot, anything over 65 degrees celsius it really gets bad when you pass 70 degrees celsius you are going into that gross disgusting area so you might have a beverage that you might be happy to scald your mouth with but the flavors break down immensely so when you're frothing milk you gotta stick between 45 and 65 degrees celsius so the next time you come in and you want if you're looking for a beverage to be extremely hot I'd recommend ordering a black Americano. You know, it's always, I always find it funny when people want super hot beverages with dairy in them, whether that be hot dairy or cold dairy, just because those things can't withstand heat well, the flavors are affected. Um, yeah, if you want really hot coffee, Americanos are great. It's literally pretty much boiling water and espresso, so you can have a super hot beverage. But if you want a milk-based beverage, you're gonna want something between the 45 and 65 degree area. Because if not, you're gonna have something that's disgusting on either ends of the spectrum, and you're gonna have something that it just just isn't pleasant, isn't as good as it could be. So anyways, that's my, that's my little rant today on why you probably don't want an extra hot latte. So just think about that next time. I mean, there's milk alternatives that can kind of take on more heat than others, like oat milk and things like that. But for the most part, you're not, you're gonna break the, whatever milk you're frothing with, you're gonna really break it down as temperature increases. So just think about that for next time. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Sorry, I'm always trying to call out anyone that orders things extra hot, but just I had to make the video just to explain why sometimes you ask for something extra hot and you probably don't get something super hot. And that's simply because we're trying not to make a disgusting beverage for you. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.